Can Newfoundland dogs be left alone with small pets? Newfoundland dogs, also known as Newfies, are renowned for their gentle nature, friendly disposition, and loyalty. These massive and powerful dogs were historically bred to assist fishermen in Newfoundland, Canada. They were tasked with hauling fishing nets, rescuing drowning victims, and even pulling small carts. Today, Newfoundland dogs serve as reliable and devoted family pets, but can they be left alone with small pets? When considering introducing a Newfoundland dog into a household that already has small pets, such as cats or rabbits, it is essential to evaluate the individual temperament of the dog and take certain precautionary measures. While Newfies generally exhibit a calm and patient attitude, their massive size and natural instincts should be taken into account. One important aspect to consider is the history and training of the Newfoundland dog. These dogs have been bred for generations to work alongside humans and possess impressive intelligence. Proper socialization and training from a young age are crucial for ensuring a well-behaved and reliable pet. This is especially important if you plan on leaving your Newfoundland dog unsupervised with small pets. It is important to gradually introduce the Newfoundland dog to the small pets in the household. Allowing them to become familiar with each other's scents and appearances can help establish a sense of comfort and acceptance. This can be done by supervised interactions and controlled environments. For example, you can start by separating the dog and the small pet with a baby gate or a crate, allowing them to observe each other without physical contact. Over time, as the dog demonstrates positive behavior and shows no signs of aggression or prey drive, supervised face-to-face -face encounters can be initiated. However, it is important to note that the potential predator-prey relationship between a Newfoundland dog and small pets cannot be completely ignored. Despite their gentle nature, Newfies belong to the working group of dogs, which means they possess some instinctual behaviors that might not align well with small pets. Newfoundland dogs have a natural inclination to retrieve objects, including small animals. This can potentially pose a danger to tiny and delicate creatures. Another factor to consider is the size difference between the Newfoundland dog and small pets. Newfies can weigh between 100 to 150 pounds and stand around 27 inches tall at the shoulder. This massive size difference alone can be intimidating to small pets, potentially causing stress or anxiety. It is crucial to monitor interactions closely and intervene if any signs of discomfort arise. The temperament of the small pets also plays a role in determining whether they can be left alone with a Newfoundland dog. If the small pet is easily frightened, anxious, or lacks the ability to defend itself, it might not be appropriate to leave them unattended. It's important to prioritize the safety and well-being of all animals involved. In conclusion, whether Newfoundland dogs can be left alone with small pets depends on various factors, including the individual temperament of the dog, their training and socialization, and the behavior and size of the small pets. It is always recommended to exercise caution and assess the compatibility between the animals before allowing them to be together unsupervised. With proper introduction, training, and monitoring, it is possible for a Newfoundland dog to peacefully coexist with small pets, but it is always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to the safety and well-being of our furry companions.